Welcome to Lecture Online, and here's another example of how to solve a linear inequality. In this case, we have fractions, so the first thing you always want to do is get rid of the fractions, so we look for the lowest common denominator. So we have 3, 3, and 6. It looks like 3 fits into 6 evenly, so the lowest common denominator is 6, which means we're going to multiply both sides of the inequality by the number 6. So when we multiply the left side by 6, multiply the right side by 6, we do not change the inequality. Okay, now let's go ahead and do that. 6 times 2 thirds, well 3 goes into 6 2 times, 2 times 2 is 4, so we get a 4 minus, 3 goes into 6 2 times, 2 times 1 is 2 times x, greater than or equal to, 6 times 5 6, the 6's cancel out, so we end up with 5 plus 6 times 2 is 12x. Alright, now the next thing we're going to do is move all the turns with the x to the left side, all the numbers to the right side, so here we get minus 2x, and when the 12 goes across, we get a minus 12x greater than or equal to 5. And when we bring the 4 across the other side, we get a minus 4. Okay. Now we can combine like terms. So minus 2 minus 12 is minus 14x is greater than or equal to 5 minus 4 is 1. And now we have to divide both sides by the negative 14, the coefficient in front of x. But remember, when we multiply both sides of inequality by a negative number, we have to flip the inequality symbol around. So this becomes minus 14x divided by minus 14. Instead of greater than or equal to, we say less than or equal to 1 divided by minus 14. Always remember to do that. Now we can simplify, so we get x is less than or equal to minus 1 over 14. There's the answer. If we want to put that on the number line, what we do is draw the number line. Here's the number 0. Let's say here's the number negative 1. And 1 14 is about right here, so minus 1 over 14. Notice that it includes that endpoint. So let's make a solid circle right there. And then everything to the left because it's smaller than, so to the left of that number. And so this is how we graphically represent this right here. And that's how we solve inequalities when there's fractions.